Hi folks. Today we're going to talk about Dynamics 365 and working with leads. My name is Dan Bell. I am an executive director at Inchinchinch. We are a Microsoft technology solutions provider and we provide training as well. So let's get into it. Dynamics 365 and working with leads. First of all, about uh, Dynamics 365, uh, the tool uh, Business App allows us in organizations to manage the sales life cycle from start to finish. Looking at this, the typical sales life cycle, you know, most uh, items will come in as a lead, some kind of an inquiry from somebody who wants something that you sell. Once that lead is qualified, it will turn into an opportunity. From there, that opportunity uh, person, that potential customer will receive a quote from the organization. If they like what they're seeing, they'll place an order from the organization and ultimately an invoice will be sent and the deal will be made and we'll have that win. So ultimately that's what we're looking for. What is a lead? Well, a lead is really somebody who has an interest in what you're selling, right? So that's really what it's all about within this tool set. Uh, leads are considered temporary. The goal is to determine the viability of becoming a customer. Determining that viability is really known as a qualification. What could qualification be? Well, it could be a number of things, right? Uh, is uh, there a decision maker, um, you know, executive sponsorship in it? Is a budget in, to been assigned? Is there a business need? Is there some kind of pressing date? Uh, so based on your particular organization, you know, there could be um, you know, very specific items that you will use to qualify a lead into an opportunity. When would an organization use leads? Do you invest time and money generating lists of possible customers? Do you keep lists but have limited information in them, meaning maybe you just have an email address and some limited information about what they might be interested in? Uh, have you a process or a team dedicated to identifying prospects? Uh, do you manage lists of potential customers that are separate from your uh, customer list? And so if, if those are things that you know align with how you do business today, then utilizing leads within the tool set is probably something that will work out for you. Now, regarding leads, the more information you capture in the lead, the easier it's going to be to research that lead during the qualification process. Right? So um, we can either have very limited information, very high level, they might be looking for this, an email address, or you may have more in-depth information. What company are they from? Uh, you know, any kind of stakeholders, what the address is, so you can do some research about the organization and so forth. Uh, so the more information, definitely the better. Uh, how can we add leads? Well, there's actually a number of different ways. We can, you know, primarily manually is the way that uh, most folks are going to do it. You can do it via the sales hub within the tool set. That captures detailed information because it brings up a, an initial form that captures a lot of information and you have access to subsequent forms. The quick create dialog box, uh, that really just captures essential information. So if you're in a rush, you want to just capture basics, you can utilize that. Another quite common way for your sales folks to use, since they utilize Outlook and are in Outlook so often, is converting your email activities to leads. Uh, another way uh, is using bulk import via CSV file if you maybe you're migrating or you have a list that was provided to you by somebody else. And um, yet another way, uh, you may have a situation where you have your website set up so that when somebody fills out a form, on your website, that form uh, lead, when it's entered in there, will automatically create a lead record in CRM. Let's get started. Okay, what I'm gonna do is switch to my leads section here. So you can see my navigation along the left. We'll click on leads, and I'm currently in my open leads view. And so here's where I could start, and um, you know, somebody just called in, they are interested in uh, something that we sell, and I need to get some information in here. Uh, one of the ways I can do it is I can click this new button from the lead center and that will bring up the new lead form. Okay, and you notice there's just two fields that are required here, topic and last name. Therefore, I at least have to enter those two values. But like we said before, the more information you enter, the easier the process for you to qualify that lead is going to be, right? So this particular item is going to be somebody is uh, calling us about a color laser printer purchase. Person's name. Right, and then this person is going to be the director of education, and um, we'll just put a phone number in there. Um, it's going to be Mike Gregory at aceeducation.com, 
and there's the company fields down below. Let's scroll down here. That's our company. Ace Education. Of course, we're going to have a, right? So again, anything that we can put in that we have for information, we not, might, might not have all of this information. However, via research, get the company name. You can find out what the company website is. Uh, you can certainly get more information, right? So 125 Winter Street. Okay, we captured some of the details there. And we can go to this second form. This will allow us to capture more information. So if we want to provide a more detailed description, uh, we know what the industry is of the uh, company. We could certainly put it in here as well. Revenue, again, if we do more information, more research, we find the website, we can gather this information, we can put it all in here. What source campaign was this? Uh, was it part of a particular campaign or not? Uh, what was the source of the lead? Was it an email that came in? Was it a phone call? How did this really get in here? And so if you can put that in, that's going to be, again, more information helpful for the sales cycle down the road. When we have all this information entered, a couple options. We can either just save to save it where it is and it'll remain on this form. We can save and close. It'll bring us back to the main lead view. And I'm going to choose the latter here. And now we go back to my open leads. Right, and we can see that that new lead is at the top of the list right here. Color laser printer purchase created on such and such a date. If I go in my items here, right, we should see this as a recent, which it is, Michael Gregory. If I want to make this so that it's always very quickly available for me to get, for instance, if it always shows up under my pinned, right, the thing I can do is I can just click that little pin next to the person's name. Now it's going to show up under my pinned items, so it's a hot button item that I want to enter. The uh, other way, another way to enter these items in is, let's say I'm on my, you know, anywhere within the tool set, for instance. In the navigation bar, there's a plus sign up top. When we click on that, we get a bunch of entries here in which we can enter in uh, many different types of entities again, and one of those being a lead, right? So again, you know, I could enter, okay, Color laser printer purchase too. It allows me to enter right a certain amount of information. What was the source? We do have access to that too. Okay, you know this could be Michael again, and we'll go ahead and get some of this information in here. We'll put Michael Gregory too. Now another thing to remember is this: is that when or if we do qualify this in, this uh, lead into an opportunity. If we have sufficient information, then the account and the contact records will be automatically created as well. Therefore, again, more reasons to get as much information in the system as well. Uh, enter the uh, email address, mobile phone description, and then I can save and close. And again, not as much information, but a way for us to quickly get that information into the tool set. Now, go ahead and exit out of that. We're not going to save it. Yet one more way. Let's say I have an email in that came in. Uh, and again, this is just as a test email here. You can see somebody submitted an inquiry here. They want to get some information about uh, purchasing printers. The dynamics access is toward the right here. You can see the little button. I click the button. It brings up some I options all to the right of my email. Uh, one of those, I can click on the plus sign and click on lead. And it's kind of similar to that quick, right, create form that we saw before. Topic, budget amount, purchase time frame, lead source, and so forth. We have, you know, quite a few options here. Just enter the data in, save and close. And again, it's a very quick way to do it from your email, if that's where you're more comfortable doing it, and that's where you spend a lot of your time. Uh, suffice to say, there's a number of different ways you can do it. And ultimately, the goal is, you know, get those leads within the system, uh, qualify those leads, get as much information as you can. And when they eventually do become qualified, turn into an opportunity, then you'll have sufficient information. The sub other records are going to be created, the account and the contact, and you'll be able to continue working on that opportunity. Thanks for watching. Hope you folks have a great day and learn something. See you again soon.